This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. This video is about how to handle a pet rat properly. How do you handle a pet rat? This pet rat was brought to the clinic one day for an injured hind limb. Until then, I had not encountered any and I had no idea how to handle one. So why handle animals? Some medical procedures require the animal to be still. For example, when removing a bandage, taking an x-ray, or when giving intramuscular injections. This ensures that the procedure is carried out correctly. Also, proper handling makes these procedures safer for both animal and handler. For example, restraining an animal for an injection reduces struggling and makes it less likely to inject yourself accidentally. Sedation and anesthesia carry the risk of sudden death, so in some cases restraining is preferred. The proper handling technique is known as scruffing. What is the scruff? What is scruffing? The back of the neck is known as the scruff. Scruffing is a restraining technique where the scruff is grasped firmly. People often believe scruffing is cruel and causes pain. Is this true? No. This belief stems from urban living with a lack of exposure to animals in nature. This belief also results in wrong techniques that are ineffective. Correct scruffing does not cause pain and minimizes harm to both animal and handler. So how do you scruff a pet rat? The correct scruffing technique is Number 1. Place the rat on the table. Number 2. Place your palm 90 degrees to the scruff with your thumb toward the head. Number 3. Draw your fingers toward the palm. Number 4. Grip the loose skin. Make sure the whole palm and all fingers except the thumb grasp the skin without gaps. Number 5. Grip firmly to restrict movement during manipulation. This is what scruffing should look like when done correctly. This grip mimics the natural way animal mothers carry their young and does not cause pain or discomfort to the animal. If done correctly, the animal is serene and sedate. This clip demonstrates the effectiveness of proper scruffing. In this case, the pet rat needed an x-ray to confirm a suspected limb fracture. The cast was removed to allow a clear radiograph picture. With good technique, movement was kept to a minimum, and the cast was removed safely. Without good technique, removal of the cast would be impossible. This photo shows the incorrect technique. The grip is loose and gaps can be seen between the fingers and the skin. This allows the rat more room to wiggle. It may attempt to escape and injure itself if it slips from the hand or it may bite the handler. It may also fracture its limbs during a struggle due to thin bones. So, in conclusion, proper technique restricts the animal's movement and minimizes injury to the animal and handler. It should not be uncomfortable or painful for the animal. It can be applied to most small animals, such as rats, rabbits, guinea pigs, cats, and even small dogs. This video was filmed on location at Topayo Vets. For more educational videos, please visit the following link.